you're a man of God who loves God, but there's almost zero anointing on your life and your ministry. You struggle on the pulpit and it looks like God did not call you. You can bring that to an end. The anointing is transferable. Graces are transferable. Apostle, I'm here. I love the Lord, but I don't even know what I'm doing on earth. I'm just escorting men around the corridors of their destiny. I need to find my place. Do you have it as an expectation? An expectation is more than a wish. A wish is a careless desire with no consequences, whether it is actualized or not. An expectation comes with dogged faith attached to it. Lord, I'm, I'm committing your integrity on this matter. Archbishop Benson, in a host of blessed memory, said, if your faith says yes, that God will not say no. Because if it is Bible faith, it will be based on his will. So there is no reason why God should say no. Apostle, I'm tired. I've been married 10 years, 15 years, no child. Well, I'm sure that God will open my womb. That kind of, that, that is a careless, you know, very, very shabby wish. It will not happen that way. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. This is my miracle service. I connect and I declare that in the name of Jesus, by next miracle service, I'm already pregnant. I release my faith. You believe. And while you are saying it, the devil will be mocking you and saying, is that not what you said last miracle service? Has it happened now? You need to learn how to forget about the devil when you are dealing with God. Don't allow him come and interrupt your conversation with God. You are talking to the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the creator of the ends of the earth. Don't let Satan come and interrupt your discussion. Father, I know in the name of Jesus that I can complete this house. I've begun this building project as it is now. I may be stranded, but in the name of Jesus, you have told me that this year of open doors, that in Jesus' name, I will dedicate my own house. While he's saying it, here comes the devil. He will whisper all kinds of things and say, just to remind you for the records that you lost your job last month, and just to let you know that right now as it is, they've increased the school fees of your children. Before you know it, you will take your attention from Jesus Christ and you are listening to the devil. And at the end of it, your, your prayer request will make you, you will just be reduced from the realm of the spirit to the realm of the flesh. How do you know you have come back to the realm of the flesh? What you were once confident upon will look like stupidity. You know you are being reduced back to that realm. Lord, I'm trusting you for supernatural partnership for my ministry. And then eventually you say, ah, but use your sense. Who will come and give you 1 million, 10 million, 100 million? The devil has succeeded in bringing you down. The Bible says, this I say then, walk ye in the spirit. It says to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Is someone learning now? L listen, you do not know the joy that is in my heart when people come to stand here and testify because testimony is the end product of the manifestation of faith that god's word has finally delivered unto me and now you are declaring to the nations that he's faithful you are declaring to the nations that he's dependable you are my god that's what happens when you declare that you are my god regardless the limitations i prevailed by faith you are my god despite the cost in the family now i have the children you are my god. listen to me believers hear me if you do not believe that god is able to step in for you then just know that you are wasting your time as you're seated here don't make up your mind father i'm not going to be the one just catching people as they fall i'm not going to be the one watching people as they say amen and some of you the lack of expectation even appears physically a word is coming in the name of jesus and you just stand and you're seeing somebody receive you know just verbalizing this is my word and you just stand watching wow and then when it looks very powerful you just lift one hand and say amen you will never receive like that god is not a fool are we together expectation has an attitude they said look on us and the bible says he looked at them expecting to receive when elisha was going to receive from elijah there was an attitude if you can see me as i'm taking up some of you have come here to access mantles and to access graces don't sit down and, and your ministry is dying whereas there is a plethora of graces you can access 
can rise to a position where you are of value to the kingdom don't be a man of god as if you are not anointed but it's your expectation a word can be coming oh the healing anointing is coming and you and that is really what you need let me tell you the truth if you're a man of god the sick are not healed through your hands oppressed people are not delivered lives are not being changed can i surprise you even if you're a good teacher especially in africa believe me there will be limitations because in ministry it is the message and the backing that go hand in hand if what you are communicating is truth it must be backed up with signs following and for any genuine ministry people must hear and see the workings of god 